Hello and welcome to my first video blog. My name is Rachel Cable and I'm a mindfulness mentor, blogger and host of the Mindful Kind podcast. I'm so excited to share with you a glimpse into some of my favorite mindfulness practices, including mindful cooking and mindful adventures. So I'm going to show you how you can create your own mindful breakfast. I love making my own muesli and kind of mixing it up with different fruits and yogurts and just creating a whole lot of different flavors and textures that we can enjoy. So what we have here are some of the ingredients that I really like to use. I've got some almonds, oats and a different types of seeds. We've got linseeds and sunflower seeds. You can also use coconut. Shredded coconut works really well, different types of seeds, whatever you like to put in there really. And then we've got some honey here, which is actually harvested from my mum's bees, which she has in the orchard. So this is where you can really pay attention to the different textures. You know, it's really sticky, it's soft. You know, don't be afraid to get your hands dirty once in a while. It's actually a really great way to practice mindfulness. Cool, so I'm going to go and pop it in the oven now to bake. About 10 minutes should be all it needs. Okay, so while the muesli is cooking, I'm just going to chop up a couple of strawberries, pop them in my bowl with some yogurt or coconut yogurt, whatever you'd like to use, even milk. I have kefir at the moment because my mum makes it and it's delicious and really, really good for you. So the muesli is looking pretty good now. I'm just gonna spoon a little bit. Now I'm just going to prepare some delicious tea. So one way that I really like to be mindful with any type of food or cooking really is taking the time to be grateful for what we have access to. You know, being up here at my mom's place, I have so much access to beautiful foods and delicious tea and even the beautiful flowers, beautiful location. You know, there goes a kookaburra. I, I feel so lucky to be here and just to be able to have this experience and I'm sure that you have your own experience and your own ways to make moments like this special so taking the time to actually appreciate what we have to say thank you for the food that we have and to be able to nourish our bodies in ways which feel really good can be a great way to bring more mindfulness into your day. So I'm really excited to talk a little bit about mindful adventures. They are such a wonderful way to bring more mindfulness into your life. I love going on adventures, be it to a cafe, to a river, to a garden, to anywhere that I can have a new experience or appreciate the world around me. You can pay attention to the different colors, the different textures, the different feelings which arise as you spend time in this place. Maybe this place has special memories for you. I spend a lot of time at my mum's house and hanging out down at the creek with my dog and you know this is where I grew up. I used to make fairy houses here when I was little and had such an amazing time with my family. I think it's really meaningful to push ourselves to go to new places or travel and to experience the world mindfully, to pay attention to what's happening within ourselves as we view these different places. I find it just brings this mindfulness practice to a whole new level of fulfillment and purpose. If you enjoyed watching, please subscribe or help me share this video to inspire more mindful living out there in the world.